The paranasal sinuses form a cave system within our skull, around the nose area. The nasal cavities are connected to the sinuses by small passages. One distinguishes maxillary sinuses, frontal sinuses, sphenoidal sinuses, and ethmoidal cells. Certain areas of our skull bone are pneumatized by the sinuses. This means the areas are filled with air. The reason for these formations is probably the enlargement of the skull, which enables our brains to grow bigger without significantly increasing the weight of our head. The paranasal sinuses are located in bone parts which are barely stressed, if at all. This is why the bone regresses in these areas. Contrary to earlier assumptions, the paranasal sinuses have no function as resonance caves during voice formation. Paranasal sinuses are outfitted with a special mucosa. The mucosa consists of small protuberances called cilia located above a layer of mucus. With every beat of the cilia, mucus containing dust particles from the air are transported toward the nose. In this way, our sinuses clean themselves. A mucosa inflammation can lead to a disturbance of this self-cleaning mechanism. The drains can get clogged up and pus collects in the sinuses. This is known as acute sinusitis. A jaw cave inflammation can have many different causes. One of the most common causes is tooth problems. The roots of the upper jaw teeth reach into the jaw cavity. Thus, a bad root treatment can lead to irritation of the jaw cavity mucosa. This is called dentogenic sinusitis. More about this in the video entitled Paranasal Sinus Infection.